I've done a couple of projects recently and they were larger than than the, the stuff that I normally do and it involved a lot of clips, there's like a lot of footage to put into each one of these uh, projects. We touched on it before on another video about how important it is to be organised when you're editing uh, and how, how important it is to get the whole process, the whole file stuff organised so you know where everything is and you can get a hold of it all really, really easy and what have you. But we didn't really touch on what happens if you become sort of disorganised through the process of editing in the actual editor itself. So that's what this video uh, is about really. It's just a really quick, short uh, video on how we can sort of tidy up our project bins within Premiere Pro. So let's have a quick look. Okay, so as I was saying, once you start with a project and you've, it's a complicated one, it's quite a large project, you've got a lot of videos on it, it, they can get quite complicated. This particular project, for this instance, is not overly complicated, but it's got a lot of duplicates and a lot of uh, uh, clips that are not used in it. So, when you get to that point, what you need to do is quickly and efficiently tidy up your timeline and tidy up this whole project as a, as a whole and effectively allow you to see exactly what you're using uh, and get rid of the things that you're not using or duplicates of stuff you are using. And we can do that in a really easy and efficient manner. So let's have a look how we go about doing that. So what we can do is we can come across to our, our bin, project bin, and we can see that we've got a load of videos in there uh, and we've got some copies. So we've got 4994 there, 4994 there, we've got another 4994 there. Um, and we may well have used 4994 or whatever it, numbers are in here. But we've got a couple of copies of it because we've obviously used different parts. And for some reason or another, those videos have been copied across uh, multiple times. So what we can do is we can go up to our edit button and then we can come here and we can say, let's consolidate duplicate chip clips so we'll consolidate the duplicates so we click OK on that and immediately there look we've removed all those duplicates and we've just got one of each clip because he said actually you don't need all those other ones they're all just copies of it you're using what you're using so there you go that basically allows you to quickly and easily clear up your bin your project bin and clear up your sort of whole project so you can see where you're going and it's not just um, it's not just the consolidating all those clips so that you've got you've got duplicates and what have you and you want to consolidate them all down. It isn't just about consolidating them so that you've just got one version of it rather than two because that sometimes happens. You're dragging in multiple clips, sometimes you get the same name and all that kind of stuff. It just basically sorts that out for you. There are other things that we can do as well. We can actually remove unused clips from uh, the project bin as well and it can do that automatically for you. So let's have a quick look at how we do that as well. What we can also do is we can get rid of clips that we're not actually using. So we brought a load of clips in, but we've only actually used two or three of them, say, um, and we didn't need to use the other ones because for whatever reason the there wasn't the time of the video didn't lend itself to using those. The clips weren't good enough quality, or it just literally they were of no uh, story value to this particular project. So what we can do again is go up to our edit again and we can go to remove unused which is basically above the consolidate duplicates so what we can do is click remove unused and as you can see it's from the uh, project bin it's actually removed the uh, unused clips as well so now we only have in our project videos that we've actually used in our project bin and videos we've actually used in our project timeline so essentially we're, we've cleaned this project up from a huge amount of videos which basically cover that whole window into just what's that three videos three videos a color mat and an adjustment layer and we've gone from maybe 20 videos there down to three and as you can see it just tidies up the whole process it just tidies up everything that we are trying to do it just makes it much clearer for us as editors and as filmmakers to be able to just get on with the job of actually making that film, of actually editing, of getting that story told. Um, and it just means that you, if you do have, find that you've got stuff in there that's multiple of this or duplicates of that, uh, you know, two up, three up, four up of the same clip or whatever, um, you, can, you can just tidy up instantly and you haven't got to mess around going, clicking into each one and, and finding out what they are and where they're from and have you used them before or not, etc, etc. You can just literally just do it all straight from within the, the settings in Adobe Premiere. And that really is all this video is about. It's just reinforcing that fact that we need to be 
as tidy as we possibly can be and as organized as we can possibly be in order to keep that creativeness going and get that project delivered in a way uh, that meets the deadline and is satisfactory to us and to the people that we're making that project for. Um, and it's just, it just hammering home really, hammering home, I'm doing it, hammering home um, that being organized and being tidy is the way forward when it comes to filmmaking. Uh, and it, it just adds that element of sort of calmness and you're not frantically trying to find something or you've not, you're not using the same thing that you used previously uh, in a different clip. It's just sort of bloating your project file out. Uh, so with that, I hope you found this tutorial, this quick tutorial, really useful uh, as it's a sort of staple basic editing sort of thing that you need to be, uh, or I would say you would, you would want to be uh, organised rather than unorganised. So with that, I hope you did find it useful as I say, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.